Okay, baby, do you want to come be in this or do you want me to do the intro by myself? Uh, why don't you handle that? I'm going to take a Okay, you take a whiz. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are doing another Easiest Frick Meals with Megan Finn. But Finley is yet to come into the kitchen. He will be here soon. Also, I will say, this isn't that easy. Like, there's kind of a lot of steps, but it's very worth it. And, um, you know, if I can do it, you can do it. But it's not like, oh, five minutes and it's ready. It's like 40 <laughs> plus. So anyways, today we are going to be making baked buffalo cauliflower wings, which is like my favorite freaking thing to make. They're so good. And they're so good for guests too. Like when you have more than just two people. And so um, other than just the wings, we're going to make homemade mashed potatoes as well, because I have perfected that recipe. And I'm excited to share it with you because I talked about both of these separately being like, do you want to see a video? And everybody was like, yeah. So here we are. Um, so I'm just going to start off with what you need. All right. So we're going to start with doing the cauliflower wings because they take like a little bit more time. And as we're going through, you know, you'll see, we're going to throw in the mashed potatoes as we're going on. So you're going to need obviously cauliflower, a little extra virgin olive oil, some ground cumin, some garlic powder, some black pepper. Frank's red hot sauce is what I would say I prefer. Hello, sir. Hello. <laughs> And then we also cut the hot sauce with barbecue sauce because just doing the hot sauce is so freaking spicy. So if, if you're a spice head, <laughs> go for it, but it's so, so spicy. And then you just have to have some all purpose flour and then a little salt, some almond milk and some butter as well. And that's all the things. <laughs> Oh yeah, we're getting it tonight. No eating here tonight. No, no eating here tonight. No, no, no eating here tonight. You want to die. Do you know that? No, I do want to eat. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is preheat your oven to 425. Oh. If you have kind of like a shitty oven, then preheat it to 450. Um, but ours works great at 425. Remo. And then we're also going Can to... I chop it? Yeah, you can chop it. Finley's gonna be our cauliflower chopper today because he's wonderful at that. Chopping everything, including the potatoes, is potatoes as well. Yes, potatoes as well. Oh. Hi. Hello. Recycle your damn plastic, okay? And then also, you're obviously gonna want to break off all the lettuce and stuff so you can just compost that bad boy. Also, the recipe that I use is from GimmeDelicious.com. Very delicious. So while Finn does that, I'm gonna um, oil our baking sheet. You can also use parchment paper, but like, I don't have any of that. Also, it's more wasteful, so who needs it? Downtown parchment paper. Baby, did you wash your hands? Yeah. You did? No. Did you wash them? No, I didn't. Can you please? Baby, the rabbit is here for us. What? The bunny's here again. Look. Hey, Mr. Roger. Oh, hey, Chicken Booty Man. Ow! 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 Oh, baby. It's so awesome. Ow! That really freaking hurt, actually. Back to the cauliflower. So now in a big mixing bowl like this, I'm gonna make the cauliflower dip. What's in the dip? So this is gonna be the milk, water, flour, and spices in a mixing bowl. You put all of those together. Alrighty. Alrighty. And you mix it until the batter is thick and able to coat the cauliflower without dripping. So as you can see, he is chopping them into like a wing size, you know? Pretty good size. Pretty good right size. And then over here, we are gonna start with the old mix. So you're gonna need a cup of flour. Bam. Half a cup of almond milk. I wouldn't recommend using like vanilla flavored. Just go for the old original. And then half a cup of water. Wham, bam, jiggling ham. Hell yeah. <laughs> That's okay. a new one. <laughs> that is a new one. We got a couple of chicken hams out in the field. <laughs> yes, we do. And then two teaspoons of garlic powder oh. in there. Oh, frick, we also need paprika. I forgot to say that in the ingredients. You just need a teaspoon of cumin, a teaspoon of paprika. This will give it like the red coloring. That would be delicious. You love paprika. Yes. And then a fourth a teaspoon of pepper, as well as a fourth a teaspoon of salt. Should I start chopping potatoes or anything? Yeah, that would be great if you could peel the potatoes. Peel? Yeah. 
got a little bad memories from that in my childhood. Peeling potatoes? Did I ever tell you about the time I peeled the top of my finger off? Had oh, to go to the Darwin no. Hospital? Oh no, that's not happening tonight. <laughs> and then you're just gonna wix, wix, <laughs> whisk all of this together. Mm. All these spices smell so freaking good in here. So you're just gonna whisk that until all the lumps are out, bang off all that excess. Great, better is done. All right, now we have our florets all cut up. And we're just gonna dip them in here with clean hands, obviously. Wash your damn hands, kids. Uh, Finley's not a fan of that. Yes, it's preheated, but we still have to do the dippage, so. Dippage, So you're just gonna wanna like coat it in as much of the floury mixture as you uh, prefer. It says in the recipes to coat it until it's not dripping, but I just kind of like smear it around. This is definitely a messy activity because if you don't coat it all the way, then it's not gonna be fully coated. It's gonna be a total rip off. <laughs> don't cook yourself a rip off. Yeah. What'd you call this? Florets? Is that a real term? Mm-hmm. It's a very long time to make this dinner. It's not quick. It's not easy as <laughs> frick. <laughs> But it's really good, and I would recommend it. And it'll be quick when you're watching it. How many potatoes do we usually cook? Four. Oh, what do you think? So many more episodes of Rick and Morty. Could there be a more blessed thing to hear today? No, that was like the best news to wake up to. 70 more episodes, Morty. On and on and on, you and me. More adventures. I have finished the potatoes. <laughs> Thank you. Where did you ah! <laughs> <gasps> Baby, those look delicious. Whoa. Thank you. Ow, chicka, wow, wow. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you take all of the florets, once they are dipped and laid nicely, um, you're gonna put them in for 10 minutes and then take them out, flip them, and put them in again for 10 minutes. But I'll show you that whole process. So while the cauliflower is baking away for its first 10 minutes, we're cutting our potatoes. Well, once they were peeled and washed and all that baloney into like this kind of a size, um, quarter pieces, I guess, yeah. about an inch. And then we're gonna put them all into a saucepan to bake away, or what's that kind of word? Boil away, that's Boil. what they're gonna do. <laughs> what's that kind of word? <laughs> so you're gonna put them in a saucepan about yay big and um, cover them with water until it's like just over the brim of the potatoes. So you're gonna cover them about this much to the top and then throw in like a little salt in there and then just wait until they start to boil and we'll come back to chat with you then. All right, mother cluckers. Oh, wow, that's hot. Look at my new oven mitt. Freaking funny, huh? Okay, anyways, you're just gonna wanna get your tongs and hold this on your left hand probably. I mean, depends on what hand you are, I suppose. And then just do the old flipperoo of all of them onto their other side. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then you just put them in for another 10 minutes. Okay, meanwhile, the potatoes have started to simmer, so I'm gonna keep it at like a, between a five and a six on my uh, stove top. So, like medium high, mostly just medium. And um, you're just gonna let them cook there until they get to the point where you can stick a knife through them and it come out easily. So if I were to try to do that now, it would be kind of blocked, but they'll just get softer and softer. Um, this is just what the recipe says. I use a um, Martha Stewart recipe, which I'll link down below. I'll link both of the recipes down below just so you have all of the measurements and stuff written out. Anyways, it just says this in the recipe. It doesn't really give you a distinct time. So you just gotta kind of watch them. All right, but in the meantime, I'm gonna go feed my hogs. All right, now that all that is happening, we're gonna get a tablespoon of butter. You can obviously use, you know, vegan butter if you're trying to make this entirely vegan. Get about this much, and then get a little saucepan like this, and you're just gonna melt the butter in here with your sauce. So I'm gonna get half a cup of barbecue sauce as well as half a cup of Frank's Red Hot Sauce. And this is what's gonna coat the cauliflower wings when they come out. All right, and when the wings come out, you're just gonna put them all 
into your big mixing bowl, which had the flour mixture in it. You're just gonna wanna um, wash that out while they're cooking or get a new bowl, but that's not really necessary when you have the same one. And then once your butter and sauce has all kind of melted together, you're just gonna pour it all on top. Oh yeah. And then you're just gonna toss them in the sauce. This is actually a whole lot easier with like a really big spoon like this and then you can just kind of, oh yeah. Oh mm, my gosh. They're so saucy and amazing. And once they're all tossed, you're just gonna lay them back out on the baking sheet. Oh my God, no one told me this happened. Shit. Now they're ready to go back in for their final cook. That's gonna be about 12 minutes or so. Recipe says 10 to 15, so doing 12. And now our potatoes are pretty much ready. I would say they were probably simmering for around like 15 minutes, I wanna say, but you're just gonna strain them and then put them into a mixer. Alrighty, hello. So we just strained the potatoes and then you're just gonna put them in a mixing bowl. And if you don't have a mixer, I'm sure that you could um, somehow just put them in like a big mixing bowl and maybe mash them with like a big spoon and mix them together uh, with your hand. But this obviously just makes it a lot easier. Also, how freaking cute are the little decal stickers Finley got me on this mixer for my birthday? Adorable. Okay, you're just gonna wanna stir them for about a minute just as they first go in there. I always try to get it off the sides and down. <laughs> So all the potatoes are in there. It's so freaking steamy, it's ridiculous. And the potatoes are what are pretty easy. So you're just gonna get your almond milk again and add a cup of it in. That's really gonna make them more creamy. And then you're also gonna put in four tablespoons of butter, which is about this much, <laughs> which is perfect. And boop, and because they're so hot, that'll just kind of melt that around. But it's getting kind of reckless in there, it's flying. Shit is flying. I'm just gonna put the butter and place it down at the bottom so it can mix well and not just be flying around as it was. My mixer's just on like the number two setting, by the way. And then this isn't in the recipe, but I love to make them cheesy. So obviously if you're vegan, you don't have to do this, but we love cheese in this household. I just get like two big handfuls and kind of just let it melt in. All right. And the recipe calls for like a fourth a teaspoon of pepper, but I make these all the time, so I'm just gonna kinda eye it. Same goes for the salt. This is garlic salt, which is just gonna make it oh, magnifique tasting. Love garlic salt. And then I also just put in a shit ton of Italian seasoning. If you wanna know what's in it, it's basically just oregano, basil, thyme, rosemary, majorum, and garlic. At this point, I kind of just like to bring it up and get all the seasonings off the sides and stuff that maybe haven't been mixed in with my spatula. And then I can also taste it and see what else it needs. Definitely not more salt. We're good on that. Cheers. All right, the last thing that I'm gonna put in, and I've never done this before, is about half a teaspoon. Actually, maybe we should do less than that. Maybe like a fourth a teaspoon of garlic. Just some minced garlic, brothers. Why not? All right, folks, and that is pretty much it for the mashed potatoes. Oh, wow. Just look how glorious these are. I mean, mashed potatoes are incredible. Hey, okay. Now the mashed potatoes are done and the wings just now became done. Oh my gosh, this is glorious. Let's serve it up. Hell yeah. All right, it's the mashed potato moment. Oh yeah. I should really be getting a close up over here. Yep, this is what we're here for. Oh my God, incredible. I feel like a lunch lady that's just like plop. <laughs> okay, I think that's good. This is a lot of food, but it is perfect. Perfect amount for us. Now I get to go wake Finley up from his nap to a whole meal. A whole last meal. <laughs> All right, folks. The last time I filmed one of these videos, I remember you guys got a little mad at me because, well not mad, but everybody was like, why didn't you eat the food on camera? So we'll do that today. Little mukbang, why not? I need my water. Perfect. Well, goddamn, baby, this looks amazing.
Well, you did the chopperoo of all of the things. I just prepared it. Well, babe, this preparation looks incredible. This looks great. Thank you so much. I know it's weird to film us eating. No, but... it is very good. <laughs> ah, my friggin' arm's asleep. <laughs> oh. That's not good. You can also have like a dipping sauce, like a ranch or something for the wings, but it's not my favorite. When I have them left over, I like to have that, but not the first time around. I guess I didn't need the spoons too. Oh my God, it's so good. Mm -hmm. Very spicy though, still so spicy. This is good because you can dip the wing into the mashed potatoes and it's oh, glorious. Are you okay? You don't have to eat if your stomach hurts, Louie. It's just me and you guys now. <laughs> can she do it? <laughs> she can. You're so awesome, baby. I'm sure you can do it. <laughs> it's so spicy, it like hurts. I never was one for spicy food, but these are incredible and it's so worth it. <laughs> I knew it. You know why? I'm not used to eating on camera unless it's pizza talk. <laughs> and pizza is not messy to eat. This is very messy to eat. Hmm. Nose is watering from the heat. What did you find to eat, Larry? did it. Cheers. Mm. I'm freaking stuffed, man. That is a very hearty meal. 10 out of 10. Dare I say 25 out of 10. So good. So I would say overall, this meal is a success. You should make it. You should tell me if you make it on Twitter, Instagram, either of the things. And hey, thanks so much for watching. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Ring the notifications bell if you want to be notified next time I upload. And until the next upload, stay smiling. Bye guys. Bye. I need to blow my damn